Hi everybody, Dizzy Nails and Beauty here with another set of nails. I'm coming in with the first colour is the Radiant White from Tia's Beauty in the core range. And we're just going to lay this down very thin. Unfortunately for me today the weather was really really hot and it was setting very quick and I just was not getting this right whatsoever. Um, but we are going to do this on ombre so I'm not too fussed over it being dead perfect anyway. Then we're going to come in on the ring finger and then we're just going to cover half of the nail and making a nice straight line sorry, in the middle of the nail. Once we've got that all nice and straight we're going to come in with a cuticle bead and then feather that down over that straight line. And then we on the middle finger. Um, my plan was to just do lots of different um, thin lines of white acrylic and just blocking it in. And we're going to use the brush to manipulate the um, sides and try and get it as straight as we can. And then we're on the pointer finger and we're just going to do a little block of white at the tip of the nail. And on the thumb we're just going to come in and do another ombre. Once all the acrylic is set up we're then going to take a file and file the edge to try and get the edges more sharper and we do this on all of the ones that's been blocked and then we're coming in with Tears Beauty in black and I'm using a A size 6 brush I think to do this just keeping them nice and thin um, and moulding that again using the brush in case you didn't know guys you can actually get a 10% discount on using my code Dizzy10 and I have other numerous discount calls in the description box too. And then on the middle finger I just wanted to do a couple more of these lines but in black again and just moulding it again. To be fair this nail didn't quite turn out the way I had planned in my head. I'm not very good at colour blocking but I still keep trying and one day these things I keep trying to do I'm going to master. I'm determined to master them but I feel like I need to practice more um, doing them more regularly than when I don't. I'm a bit spasmodic and I feel like it needs to be mastered by practice, practice, practice. I will get there one day. And then we're on the pointer finger and we're just going to do the cuticle area and do a block in this area. And a very thin line at the top. And on the thumbnail we're going to come in with the Tears Beauty in Limeade and we're going to be ombre in that. And then coming in with the black at the tip of the nail.
And then we're going to do just a green and white ombre on the little finger. And then we're going to be filing those black uh, blocks and lines all over again to get, try and get them as sharp as possible. And when I did file this one, I noticed I hadn't quite gone to the edge, so I'm just adding another bit of a line in there and wait for that to set up, and then I do file it again. And then in this one, we're going to come in with the green again and just do this whole block in green. I did actually put the green on the middle finger as well, but my camera died and I didn't realise until it was already on. So I do apologise for that, but I basically just went around all the blocks um, and filled in all the gaps not bothering if I do actually go over the black or the white and then on the other finger we're then just doing the the other half and making this into green I do really love green and blacks together and I love yellow and blacks together I feel like because it's the cream fields weekend this weekend just seem to be getting vibrant with my nails <laughs> this week um, and then we're going to come in and e-file those um, acrylics and try and reveal the blocks. Unfortunately my blocks do not stand out as much as I'd have wanted to so I do fix that later on and I'll show you how I do it later in the video. And you want to cap all the nails after doing all the filing and um, making sure it's all covered putting in the apex and then we're going to file all the nails And I'm coming in with the Candy Coat 02 in black. Uh, this is to try and help because, like I say, my blocking was not the best, so this just helped define them. And I also did want the white blocks on this nail uh, having an outline on it, so it stood out more. Plus, like I say, because it wasn't exactly straight, it gives you a better look and a neater look. I could have really just uh, done these nails in green and then done it hand painted. I feel like they probably would have been a better way of doing it rather than this because it's much more time consuming. But I do like to practice these and if, it, if it's a fail, it's a fail. If, it's, if it works, then even better. It's always good to practice and there's always ways around getting it if it doesn't turn out the way you want it. Even if that means sticking them in the bin. That's what these practice hands are made for, so you keep on at it, so you're not wasting it on doing it on people that doesn't work out very well. And I'm just cleaning up all the lines here, and again just neating up these edges. These wasn't so bad to be fair, but I just thought we'll, we'll add it in anyway. And then we're coming in with SBD's London in Spider Gel. We're a little too heavy here, but hey ho. Um, and then we're coming in and doing the top coat, and that's the nails done, guys. Do feel like it's giving a bit of a Minecraft uh, vibe off, but I still kind of like them, even if they didn't turn out as I anticipated. So, what do you guys think? So, I'd love it if you please commented, subscribed, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye!